I was asked for um, a little bit of a tutorial for full screen. Now, full screen is quite easy to do, it's a pretty quick tutorial. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover a bunch of different screen modes. Um, what we've done, so what I've done today is I've actually changed from version 4.7 to 4.8 in the project. All you do is you open up the engine and then you double click on the project file to change it. It'll ask you to open as a copy. It will make a whole new copy of your project in 4.8. Now I'm using 4.8.3, and um, yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of a full screen tutorial. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go to our um, our options menu, and in the options menu, uh, in a sec, there we go. In the options menu, we are going to jump straight in. So let's make it like this. Let's see. So what we're gonna do is we are going to let's we'll make a checkbox for now. So we're gonna need another uh, panel. We're gonna add a horizontal box into this vertical box here, and then this new horizontal box. Wait, there it there is. So now we're gonna add some text, and then we're gonna add a checkbox. So this is going to be just for the this is going to be just for the full screen. All right. So this text block must be changed to full screen. This is going to be a very quick video. Um, I'm going away for a little while. Well, I've been away. Uh, while I've, when this is up, I've, I'm already gone. So I'm away at a music festival for a little while, and um, yeah, so I won't be posting for a little while again, but as soon as I'm there, as soon as I'm back, I'll be posting some new things. Alright, so, let's do this. On, I'm going to click on the uh, checkbox, and you're going to say, on check status changed. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, let's make a new variable, no, actually, we don't need a new variable. So, so on clicked, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, execute console command, and that console command is, I believe, um, hold on, what was it? What was it? What was it? It was somewhere. Okay, hold on. Let me check what it was, and I'll come back to you guys. Alright, so I'm back and the console command is, it looks like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to say r dot full screen mode and then zero is full screen. So it's checked. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a branch here and this branch will allow you to switch back and forth. So is it checked? If yes, then full screen is zero. If no, you want to use Control W after clicking on the file on the node, and then say screen mode. Oops, one. That will set it back to windowed. So now you're gonna save, compile, and we're going to say play. We're gonna play from here because then it gives us this little menu uh, or this little pop up, and. Um, Say options and it crashed. Why did it crash? All right, I'll be right back with the crash. I really don't know why it crashed. So, all right, so I figured out what the problem was. It was just on the generate widget um, where I was trying to figure out how to make um, this text a little bit bigger. Um, you're gonna have to do that. Well, I'm still trying to figure it out. So as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know. All right. So um, what I've changed here now is I've just uh, changed this because I thought this was the problem, but it wasn't. So it's going to change this back. True. Just checked. All right. Now we're gonna make this two instead of one because this gives you a specified resolution. All right. Now save and compile. 
file and I'm going to press play. Now, I'm going to click options and full screen and back. Why did it not go? Alright, um, let's quickly try and go into the actual. Wait, 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 I know it's wrong. It won't work, in you're going to have to launch it as a standalone. And when it launches as a standalone, there we go. Alright, so this is now launched. Options and full screen. Just checked. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to do this. Um, on full screen mode zero. Yes, that, that should be correct, but. Alright, let's do this direct. Save. Okay, let's try this again. So, this should have worked, but I guess things happen. Why is it not working now? This always used to work for me. Auto full screen mode zero. That's correct. Unless we change this to one quickly. Save, play. Sorry guys, this actually worked the last time, but I don't know what happened. So let's see. Otherwise, okay, you know what? It's just a little bit more complex way then. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say get viewport get viewport size now this you're going to right click and split here you're gonna say um, execute console command and is checked we're still gonna use a branch here and is it checked if true then you're gonna execute the following what you're gonna do is you're gonna say append um, append and string all right now in this string what you're going to say is you're going to say um r dot set res space return port y um add a pin x add another pin Alright, and then what you want to do is add one more pin and say here F, which creates full screen mode. This should work now. So you're going to save, compile, play. Alright, so this should work. I haven't tested it out before like this, but it should work. Um, it's what I'm currently using, just a little bit more complex because I actually have a certain resolution. There we go. And it goes into full screen. And there we are. So this is a 1280 by 720 resolution now. So I'm gonna well, we can't really check back resolution because it won't work. But in order to do that, for false, all you do is this: create false statement, append the same string, right? But instead of F, you say W, and return that, and then save. And play. Um, doing this basically, what it does is it if um, if you have if it's enabled, it will be full screen. If it's not enabled, it will be non full screen. So let's see, full screen and not full screen. Awesome. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Ilya, and I'll check in next. Oh, well, thank you for watching the tutorial. Then, also, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for all the support especially with all the subscribers and views. I'm now at 5,000 views and I think almost 80 subscribers, which is really cool in my opinion. So yeah, thank you for the support guys and thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. All right guys, one more thing uh, before I get going. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It means a lot to me. Leave a like in all the videos and a comment if it helped you out at least. Um, otherwise, just let me know if I can do anything else for you. Any problems, let me know. Anything else, just let me know. Anyways, thanks a lot guys. See you next time.